Hey everyone, welcome back to your learning bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So I am back with another amazing and really interesting video for you all. So previously, few weeks back, I created this video where I talked about the SQL interview question, its solution, and the common mistakes we used to do. And that question I faced in Uber interview for the data engineer role. So in continuation to that, today I will be talking about the SQL problem, its solution, and common mistake we do. as a beginner and i faced this sql question in amazon interview like back in 2020 when i was interviewing with amazon for the data engineer role so again a very interesting question and i will be using a interesting concept which we keep on using quite often in our day to day activities and again i need your support for these kind of videos the amount of love you have showed for the previous video same thing i'm expecting for this one make sure to like it in the big numbers i'm expecting 1000 like and why because when you will do that these kind of interesting question and helpful interview sql questions will reach out to maximum number of people and they can also practice it and they can also learn like what kind of sql questions are being asked in the top tech companies and let me know in the comment section if you are preparing for the data engineering interviews then in the sql what all topics you have covered so far and it will give me a better idea so please mention it in the comments and if you are watching any of my videos for the very first time and liking these kind of content then make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you are updated with all my latest videos and thanks to cryo.do for sponsoring this video cryo.do is a kind of platform which actually believes in learning by doing so if you are someone who want to crack some really really good amazing product based companies but you feel that you are lacking in real world project experience and lacking in most demanding tech stack in the field of back end developer full stack developer front end developer then this should be the go to platform for you their extensive real world based projects programs are really really amazing i have shared one exclusive link in the video description i use that one you will get some exclusive offers and as soon as you will click on that link you will be landed on this home page here on this home page you can find the detail for every single thing and also free trial is available for all type of courses for the full stack development back end development all the details are mentioned here assured scholarship will be there 6 month duration these will be the latest tech stacks you will be working 15 plus hands on projects with micro skilling exercises same with the back end development program fellowship program in software development 9th month duration assured scholarship and guaranteed placement these will be the things you will be learning and you can explore the entire curriculum and more things from here and this is a newly introduced program master program in qa automation so this program is definitely the good one from the skills and and again placement guaranteed here and even the hiring partners you can look at here like unicorn startups mnc's which are hiring via cryo.do platforms and you can use the link which is in the description you will get extra benefits like like the 10% extra discount plus additional scholarship and this free guide for interview preparation free guide for the resume preparation and free guide for the mini project so these things will be completely free for you if you will use the link in the description okay so here is the entire problem statement i will explain things one by one if you have read this problem statement completely then you can even pause this video just try to solve this query that as a beginner how would you be solving it and once you are done with your solution or you think you are not able to solve it then watch the solution which i will be writing here so first try to solve it by your own it will be really helpful for you and if you can solve it exactly it will boost your confidence as well and whatever solution you are writing and you think there can be a best alternative approach feel free to put that solution in the comment section it will be helpful for everyone we all can learn together so let's look at the problem statement here as we already know on the amazon e-commerce platform there will be multiple merchants from which we can actually buy the products and there are different payment modes as well like cash on delivery kind of thing as well and can be another online payment mode so similarly you should expect this is the payments data right a uh, table which is capturing all the transactions based on date for the different different merchants and the amount in complete day Uh, how much amount they have received as a cash uh, and how much amount they have received via online mode right so this is the kind of data here you can see like on uh, 2nd of uh, april merchant 1 received 150 in total for that particular day as a cash and 500 amount in total for that particular day means 2nd of april via online mode so similarly for other dates and other merchants this is the data and the query which we need to write that is the write a sql query to find total amount received by each merchant via cash and online mode for any specific merchant we need to calculate this kind of metric so that we can create one column which is like the total summation of cash amount for that particular merchant irrespective of date like it will be a total summation so let's say this is the historical data so how much amount this merchant has received so far in the form of cash and how much amount he has received in the form of online payment mode so this is the first column we have created second and in total if you want to verify the amount here right 
for this merchant one you can see its total receivable in the form of cash is 150 plus 100 which is 250 and similarly for online there is only one record and this is the thing right 500 similarly for other merchants 2 3 5 right for the let's say merchant 5 there is only one record and he didn't receive anything in the form of cash so that's why the total amount in the online amount section is 200 but in the cash amount it's zero now first i will start with a common mistake which beginner used to do and why i'm saying that because i have interviewed so many candidates and i have also asked the similar kind of queries so as soon as they listen the problem their first and the foremost thought is to use the group by which is eventually correct but they don't focus on the output structure right they don't even focus on this part that uh, i need to print output in this format where there will be a different column for the cash amount there will be a different column for the online amount right so they don't even think about it and they quickly write this kind of query right let's say select merchant right and then after that and the payment mode okay then sum of amount from the table name group by these two columns right so their simple idea is to quickly just uh, aggregate everything on these two columns right and we will get the output so for the exercise i have created the database in my local and i will show you if we run this kind of uh, query then what kind of output we'll be getting right and let me execute this query here right so if i run so we can see this right here this is not the expected output. What we want, we want a separate column for the cash amount and we want a separate column for the payment amount and one single record for each merchant. That's the expected thing. And although this, this is the intermediate output which can be used to derive that output which we are looking for and again i'm saying there are multiple concepts as well to solve this query right there is an advanced concept something like the pivoting which can be used to solve these kind of questions and group by something which will be definitely used here but what is the correct way to prepare this kind of output structure right we need to understand on that part and not talking about the correct solution part so again this is the classical example of the case when statement like the if else statements along with the group by and their aggregation functions. So how we can do it? So let's imagine, right? Let's imagine this data again, right? Just forget about this transaction date column. Here we know the merchants, right? Different, different merchants. And we know about their payment mode and we know the amount, right? They have received. So the way we can do it, just think it logically, right? Let's say first we will create a chunk for each merchant. Like creating a chunk means we are performing the group by operation so once we will do the group by so all the records belonging to merchant one right will be together and then how we can actually iterate it we can write two if else statement in one if else statement what we will be doing we will check if the payment mode is cash then select the amount value else select the zero let's say in this total input table if we apply that condition wherever the payment mode is cash just pick those amounts so we will pick this one for merchant one and we will pick this one for merchant one and since in the else condition we are picking the zero so we are on the safe side for the cash amount whatever total we will be getting that will be only for the payment mode cash rest thing we are assuming it is zero now since we have received the total amount for the uh, cash like in the different different transaction date then we can take a overall sum of it and we will be done with that so similar thing we can do for the online payment section as well. And this is again a very, very amazing concept. I definitely want you to learn these things because I find it very interesting. Let's say you are interviewing in five, 10 companies, then at most like three to four companies, you will definitely find these kind of questions where you need to use this case when statement along with the group buys, right? So learn this thing. Now let me quickly write that the complete query. So what we will be doing we will only need the merchant in the group by so first thing i was talking about we will write a case when statement two case when statements separately will be writing so case when what we want if our payment mode is equals to the cash right so when payment mode equals to cash so here it would be like in that case what we are going to pick then simply pick the amount value else zero and end right so the thing I was talking about, if we are filtering out everything, we are just only selecting the cash. So for each merchant, we can definitely 
get all the amount values which were received in the form of cash and then simply taking a summation of it because in the else part we are taking a sum of zero that's how we are able to populate these things right the zeros zeros they are populated just because of this else part right now since we have created this part so overall what we need to do we need to take a sum of it right at the end we will be doing the sum and i have seen folks making this kind of common mistake what they do they simply write this thing and what they do here they apply the sum function here right and this is not the correct way right here what you are doing because iteration will happen row by row and you are doing nothing you are simply just uh, taking a sum of individual value single value you are not even aggregating the entire amount for a specific uh, like merchant so this is the wrong way to write the things here we need to do the summation at the end first we need to collect the individual amount values then taking the sum of it so that's why we will be applying the sum function out of this case when okay so this is the done and we will name it like the cash amount okay so this is done and second part we will be writing for this one the second part which is for the online payment now let me quickly copy it and here we will write this part right some case when payment mode online right so this will filter out all those records where the payment mode is online and once we received individual amount where the payment mode was online we can take the summation of it because in the else part we are ignoring all the things or we are making it as a zero so payment mode online and we can name it as a online payment and our table will be this one this is our table name and after that we need to write the group by and group by we have done on this merchant column right so this is done and i'll copy it and we'll try to execute it here and we'll show you the output so yes we can see our output here like which was the expected one so even you can verify again this from this so if you have such a kind of problem statement where you need to derive these kind of matrices two three four columns then definitely you can take a help of this case when statement along with the group by and the aggregation function my main motto was to make you understand this concept and if you have watched this video till the point then you can verify your query and your output and let me know in the comment section if you made the similar kind of mistake and again your correct solution or even your wrong solution mention everything in the comment section so that's what i had for you guys in this video i hope you would have found this informative and it will definitely help you i can guarantee the concept which i have talked about and uh, for the beginner level definitely these things are very helpful and if you are preparing for the data engineering interviews or even data science data analyst interviews this is going to be really helpful so make sure you practice this thing and if you find it informative and want to help all the aspiring data professionals then like this video in big numbers as i said 1000 likes and again if you are watching any of my video for the first time hit the subscribe button press the notification icon so that you are updated with all my latest videos and i will see you guys in the next week with another amazing sql interview question for a different company till then just stay safe stay home take care yourself and your family too